So guess who came to visit me today? She's over there, she's not coming in front of the camera. Hello! It's Caroline. This is what she and I do. We just hang out and we like play with makeup whenever she comes over. Yeah. Great fun. Also, can we just ignore the fact that I'm wearing a black sports bra? It wasn't the best decision, but I had on the shirt and it's really pretty. We're just, we're gonna ignore that. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys a sort of a try on new makeup, testing it all out, full face of all products that I have never before used, which is super exciting. It's always fun to like play with makeup because it's one thing for me to like sit down and like chat with you guys and like talk about products that I'm testing out, but it's another thing to actually like put them on my face real time. So that is what we did today. There are some good ones, there are some not so good ones. So overall, I feel like we were pretty successful. This is the, the, the end result. I think it looks pretty good. So if you guys wanna see more of these sort of try on full face of new makeup kind of videos, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So today I think I'm gonna start with the brows and I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. And I don't think I've tried this before, but sometimes like Maybelline and L'Oreal, like they're owned by the same company, so sometimes their packaging and products look very similar. And I think... I may actually mix the two of them, because this feels really dark and this feels really light. Now let's brush these crazy brows. In the words of Miley Cyrus, they cannot be tamed. And I haven't trimmed them in forever, because every time I go and get my brows professionally done, which is like, let's be honest, like once a year, they always look at me and they're like, do you trim your own brows? I'm like, yes. So let's see how well this actually shows up. So that's a pretty good match. See that? We're gonna clean these bad boys up. I'm excited. I usually like to do my brows sort of in like upward, motions when I'm using a pencil, which is not very often, if I'm gonna be honest. I like the um, the Benefit brow the best right now. It seems to be my go-to one. It's like a pomade type thing. The only thing I don't like is that this thing gets sharpened down to like a nub really, really fast, or it's just like disappearing in my hand, I don't know. All right, how do we do? Looks pretty good, right? Looks really overdrawn when you compare it to this side though. Whoa, boom. Two eyebrows, done. Well, not quite done, I still have to set one of the brows. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel because I don't have a new brow gel to test, so we're just gonna go with this one. All right, now we're going on to an eyeshadow primer, and this is by L'Oreal, this is their Color Riche Base, hold on, I was about to read the French again. Color Riche Fixing and Unifying Eyeshadow Primer. See how easy this is to blend out. And it doesn't blend out too badly. I find sometimes the ones with um, any sort of pigment in them tend to go on really patchy and they settle weird, but this one actually did a pretty good job. I find this one is better than the Kat Von D one. I tried the Kat Von D one, I was like, no, never again. All right, so now we're gonna go into the eye look and I am going to start by taping the uh, outside of my eyeball because I'm gonna do sort of like a smoky, glittery thing. I don't know. We're gonna make it up as I go along. So I'm removing some of the tackiness from the tape first so that it doesn't peel off my skin. And then when I'm lining this up, usually what I do, because I have a bit of a hooded lid here, I try and make sure that my eye is relaxed because otherwise, like if I'm going like this and trying to put it on and then I put it down, I'm like, oh, that doesn't look good. So just a heads up for all y'all out there that also have nice hooded lid. Also an uneven hoods on both sides makes a winged liner a fun project. All right, so that is mostly even, um, but I can always clean up the edges later um, as I drop makeup all over the floor. Now on to eyeshadow, and I wanna test out some of these Smashbox cover shot palette things. So I have the matte, the metallic, and the smoky eye palettes here, so I'm just going to um, take a look-see through some of these and see if these are any shades that I wanna. Whoa, that's a nice burgundy. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. So I think I'm gonna take this nice sort of a metallic shade here from the Metallics palette as sort of my inspiration. That looks really nice. Mmm, mmm. Well, that worked out very well. Yes, that is the color. I'm, I'm gonna put that on my eyes. So I think I'm gonna start with the mattes shades and I'm gonna use these kind of four right here as sort of my base and then go in with the metallic one later. I don't know, that's, that's my game plan anyway. I have my little Sephora color switch thing. This just removes any uh, powder off of the brushes so that I can reuse some of them over and over again. So I'm gonna start with a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off because I'm not the best at remembering that I, you know, used a dark shadow before and then I try and put a light shadow on and I'm like, oh, that doesn't look nice. And I'm going to choose this lightest shade here. Woo, it's very chalky. That was too much. So I'm just going to sweep this all over the lids. We'll see how it um, holds up against the primer as well. And see if that makes any sort of a difference in the blendability. So far, it's a nice shade. I like it so far, but like super, super dusty in the pan though. 
like you touch it and it like already it's like there's tons of fallout everywhere but I'm not getting that so much on the eyes so that's a good thing I'm really trying to blend out that line as best as I can because we're gonna go in with the darker shades next I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush this is more of a tapered brush it is the tapered blending there you go this is also by Urban Decay and I'm going to tap it into that mid shade here again also very very dusty so be very careful if you're using a color like that um, from this palette and I tend to apply eyeshadow with my eyes kind of open and then I keep going back and forth because I have this little piece of lid right here that um, you can see it with my eyes open and then also closes I think it's a double lid I'm not really sure anyway I have to make sure that the darker shadow goes on to it so that it doesn't highlight it when my eyes are open but I also want to make sure that the darker shade is up enough that you can actually see it when my eyes are shut or open. I'm gonna take this little smoky smudger and I'm just going to pat it on specifically that area and then I'm gonna blend it out. I'm also going to bring that same color to the outer V area to make it a little bit more smoky. Then I'm gonna take that big fluffy blender and I wiped off like every ounce of shadow off of it and I'm just going to use this one to blend out that darker shade. And now that we have that on, we are gonna go in with that darkest shade right here and I'm going to take this tiny little little brush and I'm just mostly gonna concentrate this on the outer kind of third of the eye, I guess. And that is just going to sort of smoke our eye out. I also don't love doing wing liner. It's incredibly difficult for me and it takes a long, long time. So having the tape on the outside sort of kind of fakes the whole winged liner without having to actually go through with the whole process. So I enjoy doing this a lot. And in terms of the products and colors that I'm using, these are very nice. They're quite buildable. They are very, um, blendable on the eyes like they're really nice and pigmented and they're very pretty and matte and very flattering on the eyes they're only the only thing I have to say is that they are very very dusty in pan but it doesn't seem to be transferring under my eyes at all uh, maybe a little bit like right there but not too bad so th there's that though so that's good now we are going to blend 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 all right so now that we have all of our matte shadows on now we're gonna go in with the fun stuff Glitter. So I'm going to be testing out, this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid uh, Eyeshadow and this is in Kitten Karma. Bought this off of Sephora and I am curious because I have heard both good and bad things about this product. Um, I, I don't know myself though. Woo! Well that's glittery. Uh, what? So it is definitely a rosy nude shade with silver glitter if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put it bluntly I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it with the applicator and then blend it out from there and just see what happens but I think I'm going to make sure that this is a pretty thin layer because I feel like this is going to otherwise never dry all right and I'm gonna concentrate this more on the inner two-thirds of the lid I want to say and then I'm going to try and blend those colors with everything else and then see what happens okay so the lesson learned from this is that you need to keep your eye closed when you're doing this otherwise it's gonna transfer all onto your to your crease but we'll clean it up it's fine it applies very smoothly considering how much glitter is in here though I was worried it was gonna be patchy or not super pigmented but yeah you can you can definitely see the glitter on this wait no don't open your eyes Rachel alright so that is how it looks on just applications I'm going to start blending it out around the edges so that it blends into the rest of the shadow alright so something to keep in mind with this is it doesn't blend very easily so I kind of had to drag it across my entire lid and I also want to show you guys something else look at see how it's applied it's applied fairly evenly and then look how I open my eyes and it looks like I missed part of the top because my lids are hooded over. So it's reflecting the brown eyeshadow on top. Isn't that crazy? Oh, so annoying. All right, so I'm gonna try and use some of this metallic shade here to sort of blend everything a little bit more and bring in some of that metallic shine. So I'm going to remove the tape. 
Boom! I'm gonna take some of this cleansing water and I'm just going to remove any of the fallout under my eyes. Not too much though, which is good. Like, okay, that, <laughs> that was a lot. Now I'm gonna go in with like a teeny tiny little smudger. This is Urban Decay. I've been using a lot of Urban Decay brushes today. And this is the E208, which is really, that's what I was using in my crease. And now I'm just going to blend out that really harsh line. Just soften that a little bit. Okay, so we're mostly way blending now. Um, so I took a, a Q-tip, which is entirely mangled. It's like a tortured it or something. I used that to sort of clean up the edges and I would like check a couple of different mirrors. So I would check a far away mirror as well as an up close mirror. And just to check and see if it is even. Because my lids are <laughs> uneven on both sides, I kind of have to fudge it a little bit to try and make it look as even as possible. So now we're gonna go into eyeliner and instead of doing like a big dramatic wing or a big liner on top, I kind of want the um, sparkle to kind of shine through. So I'm going to tight line my lids and I'm going to be using the Marcel Velvet Gel Waterproof Liner and this is in dark chocolate. It is supposed to be smudge proof, extreme color, smooth glide, 24 hour hold. That is impressive. It went on super smoothly. I don't know how it's going to wear on the tight line because usually that stuff just wears off almost immediately for me. So we will see. Um, but overall, first impression, it's really nice. So before I go and finish up my eyes, I'm going to go and start on the face makeup. So we are going to start with a primer, and this is by YSL. It's their Touche Clay Blur Primer. And it kind of looks like that other one, the Guerlain one with the gold flecks in it. This one also has gold flecks in it. So I suppose this is going to uh, blur all the imperfections on your face and make you look super, you know, Barbie doll-like, I guess. It's just very plastic skin. Oh, whoa, it has a scent. Was not expecting that. It is very, very light, but very slippery. Whoa, I think a little bit will go a long way for this product. I think I put on too much, so I'm gonna try and wipe some of it off. That's very slippery. For foundation, I'm going to be testing at a drugstore one. This is by Wet n Wild. It is their Photo Focus Foundation. And I have three different ones because I wasn't sure what color I am. These were sent as press samples, but I did find out because um, I asked because a lot of you guys were asking my last video when I was talking about the Wet n Wild concealer when it was going to be available in Canada. It is. I think it's Loblaws. Rexall and Walmart that it is at. Before I swatch it, it says here that it's supposed to say goodbye to photo flashback, el eliminate white particle reflection, uh, tested under seven light conditions with smartphone models and with and without flash. All right, so let's see. This is nude ivory. Whoa! Okay, do we see this? It's a paddle in case I want to go, you know, canoeing. So we have a winner. It is nude ivory, everyone. All right, so I'm going to take this little paddle dude and I'm just gonna apply it to the face like paint because really at the end of the day that's what it is pack this on <laughs> I, I hope this isn't is this too much everyone so that's that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it all right let's blend this out this is my Artiz brush now that this is on my face now now it, now it feels like it is the incorrect shade it feels too pink for my skin tone. Alright, Rachel, we may have to fix this. I went in with a, a little bit more of a yellow undertone one, and I put that one on top. So hopefully, hopefully that blends out a little bit more. Alright, so first impression of how it is on my face. Uh, it is nice. It is very liquidy, not watery though. It does feel like a very classic foundation. Um, it blends out nicely. It's not streaky in any way. Um, it doesn't seem to be settling into pores. Actually, it's like definitely that primer is doing its job. It's like blurred out all of my massive pores in this general area. So good job YSL, it's awesome. It's definitely not full coverage because I can still see um, some of the spots on my skin and the redness is coming through a little bit. So I'm gonna do another layer just cause I'm curious on how buildable this is, if it's going to give me some more coverage or if it's just gonna look like a sloppy mess. So, so far, both of them together, I like them. I don't know how much of it is the primer though. I did not think this through. Should have just done either the primer or the foundation. Whoops! Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to be testing out the Maybelline Brightening Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Fair, and I'm going to be plopping this sucker all under my eyes. And I'm going to start sort of lower, and I'm going to blend it upwards so that not as much of the um, concealer is going to be sitting under the eyes, because I find then it just sort of sinks into all the 
crevasses and uh, fine lines and fun things like that. I'll plop a little bit around the nose, on the chin. It's very creamy and like pigmented, or at least it is in my viewfinder. Should probably use a mirror. All right, I'm gonna use my little mini, this isn't a beauty blender, I think this is by e.l.f. And I'm gonna try and just blend this all in. That was a little bit too light of a shade choice for around my nose, but it's fine, we'll make it work. So that's blending out pretty well. It is quite light, but I find like recently anyway, my under eye concealer has been oxidizing a lot. Like any concealer that I choose to put under my eyes immediately goes orange unless I choose like a super light shade. So we'll see if this is one is also the case. Also, this these sparkles keep falling off under my eyes. I'll draw me bananas. Now for powder before I fix up <laughs> all this fun stuff on the side of my eyeshadow, we are going to be testing out the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And it is in the shade Translucent Light. True, true, true. I can't speak to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit onto my little powder puff. This is by um, Sephora. And I'm just gonna press a tiny bit under the, each of the eyes and sort of the T-zone area, but like just the smallest amount. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer, and this is by Liz Watier, and it is their Havana Bronzing Powder. So you can see it there, it has a little bit of a shimmer tone to it. I'm obsessed with this brush for bronzer. It is by It's Cosmetics. It's their Heavenly Luxe Airbrush Powder and Bronzer Brush. I'm just gonna dust this around my face. I like that it's not super hardcore when I'm putting it on. Sometimes with bronzers, I have to be super light in terms of application because otherwise it comes off like insane and orangey on my skin. But this one's very soft and light, easy to buff out. For blush today, I'm going to be testing out the Maybelline Master Blush Highlight and Color Kit. And it comes in four shades. I feel like I've seen this before. Where have I seen this? Oh, L'Oreal came up with like a smaller version of something similar. This one's definitely more on the pink side. I'm gonna go with this nice neutrally color right Mia, and I'm going to dust this onto the cheeks. I do like the fact that these little strips are big enough for my blush brush, so I'm not like having to like stick it on like the side or like the very tip in order to not like mess it into like any of the other colors, so that's nice. Whoa, that deposits on the face. It's a little bit tricky to blend out. That's pretty. You guys see that? That is nice. For highlighting, I'm gonna be using these strobing kits. These are by the brand Zoeva or Zoeva, um, and they have a bunch of them. They have one for spring, winter, and summer. And I don't know which one I want to go with. Whoa! These are, they're her color. This is the winter one. These are colors. We're doing some business with these. I wanna see these other ones though. Summer. Uh, of course, the classic bronzy shades. Very pretty, very pretty. And then spring, we have a bunch of pale shades, I wanna say. All right, I think I'm going to do the winter shade. That's sort of a uh, pinky tone right here. I think I wanna do that one. So I'm gonna dip this brush in. We'll see what happens. Whoa, do, do we see that? It's pretty but very, very pink. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna, we're gonna go all out. I know I should use a smaller brush for my nose, but I'm lazy. I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this peachy shade just to warm it up a bit from the summer strobing. Oh my gosh, these look so nice in my viewfinder. I don't know how they're gonna look when I'm editing, but right now I really like them. So my first impression of them is that they are um, definitely not glittery. They are very light. They are pigmented, so you are gonna get some color out of them depending on what shade you go with, which is great for strobing if you're trying to bring a lot of light to the particular area. It is definitely um, not for the faint of heart, but if you enjoy playing with different tones and different colors on the skin, whether it's on the eyes or on the cheeks or Cupid's bow or wherever, I think it'd be really, really fun. I like Right now, they're looking really nice. So I'm going to experiment with them some more and some like different colors and stuff on the eyes. It's gonna be great. All right, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna clean up the eyes. So I'm gonna take this little smudger brush as well as the matte palette and this middle shade right here. And I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line to make it just look, my eyes look a lot bigger. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that metallic shade as well with a thinner brush and just apply that to like the outer edge of the eyes. And I'm gonna wipe off this brush and sort of just clean up those edges there. 
make sure everything's nice and smoked out before I go on to the mascara. This is the Burberry Cat Lashes, eye-opening volume mascara for fanned out lashes. So the brush itself is sort of like an hourglass shape and it is like very, very bendy. Do you see this? So I don't know how this is going to apply, but we'll try it out. All right, so that is what the lashes look like. To me, they just look super spidery, I wanna say. Like they don't look, like I like them to be a lot darker at the tips, but you can't really tell, I don't know. I, it's not my favorite mascara I've ever used, but I will say that it is rare that I find a mascara that I'm absolutely in love with the first time I test it. All right, so this is coat number two. Whoa, now we're going all kinds of spider. It's hard to get it to brush through the product too because the um, wand is so flexible that it's not allowing me to kind of comb the product through and make it look a little bit less spidery, but maybe fanned out means spidery, I don't know. All right, so there's the mascara. It is definitely more on the dramatic side. It isn't my favorite mascara, but Usually mascaras aren't on the first go, so I will give it another test round again, and we'll see if it changes anything. And then lastly for the lips, I'm going to do a matte lip, and I'm going to be doing one of the new Rimmel, this is the one lipstick, and it's in the matte version. They did a the one lipstick before, I think last year, that they launched, and it was like, you don't need any other lipsticks, it's just this one kind, and this is the matte version of it. And so I picked out three of the most um, neutral shades. I'm not really sure which one I wanna go with, so I thought I would just just swatch them on my hand and see. Is this a Lou, which is a creamy neutral pink? Then here we have Keep It Coral, which is definitely more on the peachy coral side. And then this one is High Flyer, which is a deeper rose tone of the first one, I guess. So I think today I'm gonna go with the first one that I swatched, which was Salute. We'll see how they feel on the lips. They're very like feather, feather light on the lips, guys. I don't like that just because it was it's brand new. It sort of crumbles a little bit until you like get into it, which is a little bit annoying, but it feels really nice. Like surprisingly, it feels like a very light, almost powdery, but not powdery. Oh, that, that is really, really nice. I like that. See how it wears throughout the day, obviously, <laughs> that may, that may change, but as of right now, I'm digging it. And that is the final look for you guys. I feel like I was overall like pretty successful. I found a lot of really good products. I feel pretty good about it. Um, I'll let you guys know at the end of the day what it actually looked like and sort of like the wrap up and what I really liked and what I didn't like by end of day. Um, but yeah, that is the overall look. All right, so it is now the end of the day and this is what we are left with. Uh, so I would say overall, I mean, look at the shadow. It has held up incredibly well throughout the entire length of the day. Like it is like on <laughs> the glitter, the glitter, however, like we need to zoom in for a second. Hang on, the sparkle fallout underneath my eyeballs because it's all over the place. Now my lipstick is obviously no longer on, but I have not touched it. I haven't like wiped it all off because it ended up looking weird or anything like that. It it did fade quite nicely throughout the course of the day. But I have to say, I really liked the way that it felt on the lips throughout the day. It felt very, very light, almost not quite powdery, but not, smooth and glossy or balmy. It, it just, it felt like almost nothing was on your lips and the color was beautiful. It, it looked stunning. It was a really beautiful color. So I'm definitely gonna be testing out more of those. I just didn't like how when you first kind of break into the lipstick, it crumbles around the edges. Um, so that's something to watch out for when you're applying it. I would recommend sort of rubbing it against like a cloth, like a Kleenex or against your hand or something like that, not a cloth. Wouldn't recommend that. With the mascara, my lashes are still super curled, which is something that I look out for because my lashes don't tend to stay curled very easily. So that is a big plus, and I don't see a little bit, a little bit of flaking under the eyes actually. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, so yeah, so. In terms of the liner, like it still seems to be like pretty much solidly intact on my tight line, which is kind of cool. Didn't seem to have um, smudge under the eyes, which is pretty amazing. But unfortunately, my face makeup is starting to wear super patchy on my skin, so I'm really disappointed. I don't know what is the cause, though. I think it might be the fact that the powder just wasn't um, 
I didn't use enough of it maybe, or it, it's more for like creating this perfect complexion and not so much for longevity, I don't know. So there are some hits, there are some misses. I'll continue to experiment with all of them because I enjoy playing with makeup and if I come up with anything, um, new in terms of how to to wear it so that it increases the longevity I'll definitely let you guys know but overall this is what we ended up with we got a strong highlight still we got our shadow in place and our eyebrows done we're good and that's everything for this video give it a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos and if you have any requests for future videos leave them in the comment section below so I know and if there are any particular products that you guys want me to test out any new things that you've been hearing about also let me know um, I hope you guys are all having an amazing amazing week so far and we'll see you guys all in my next video love you girls Mwah.